just about set to go. And today's starter, Alec Manoa. Well, he got into the eighth inning his last time out, really pitching deep in the games as of late. We'll see today how many innings he's got in him. Bounce to the right. Gets it to first. Got the out. We go to the bottom of the first, and now for the Jays, Jacob Davis. The pitch. There's a swing and a drive. And that one is gone. He sends it out of here, his second of the year, and it gives him the lead in the first. It's 1-0. He only needed one swing to square it up. Not wasting any time in that at bat, dude. Aggressive, and it paid off. guy's got a real hard fastball you can't overswing all you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot if you do he supplies the power and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there now batting Tristan Casas he's hitting for that pop came out of the gates really strong hey, no one down here Out to short. Off balance feed. There's one. Over to first. Safe. Back here at the ballpark, top half of the third inning. And stepping in for Boston, Marcelo Meyer. The shortstop. Number 11. And he'll one. To the right side. Fires over to Guerrero. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. Set for the bottom of the third. Now here is Jacob Davis. The right hander back to work. Swing and a line drive caught. So up next for Toronto, Jacob Davis. One for two with a solo home run back in the first inning. And a foul ball. This is a very important inning here. After scoring all those runs, you want your pitcher to come out and just mow them down. The offense has worked hard. It's shut down inning time. That one drilled left field, and there's a hit. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way, and as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap. Dives back, and he's out. Unless you're really thinking about stealing second base, you should not get picked off by a right-handed pitcher right there. Stepping in, Jacob Davis. He's already homered here in this one. Second baseman, Jacob Davis. I see it drive it. Let's go, big dog. Line drive. Makes the grab on the run. And that will end the inning. Eighth inning coming up. Hey, clutch up, boy. This Get is Monte break, Harrison. One out now, one out. Number three, Monte. 
up the middle sneaks through base hit Meyer around third he will score it's 9 6 well done narrows the deficit with the RBI there really nice job staying up the middle with his approach he didn't try to do too much with the pitch just shot it through the infield always nice to win the home opener of a four game series you know you got a lot of miles in the journey against that other team but it all starts with the first game and you can set the tone position yourselves set up your bullpen got everybody fresh and ready to go when you're in the driver's seat we'll see if they can continue that momentum in tomorrow's game 9-6 the final in this one for Chris Singleton and our entire out. This is early in his career, and he's lighting it up. He's causing waves around the game. We're thrilled to be joined by Hall of Fame outfielder Ken Griffey Jr. Ken, you see him, what we're seeing? Is he a star already, or are we getting ahead of ourselves? What do you think? Uh, no, no. I mean, you know, he's having a great year so far. I, I, you know, we hope that he can continue. That's the the whole thing is we want you to continue. You want you, it's, it's, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. And, uh, you know, hey, he, he's doing some things early, and we're excited about it. I think that's what, uh, you know, baseball fans around the world want to see is a guy who, is going out there, playing hard, showing excitement, having some fun, and enjoying the game of baseball. Do we know how long this is going to last? No, but while we're here, we might as well enjoy it. From one Blue Jays way in Toronto, welcome to Rogers Center. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Boston Red Sox and the Toronto Blue Jays. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shomby. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars of the sport, Bo Bichette. Always exciting to see him in action. And it seems like, here's Trevor Story now. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Hey, nobody out now. All loaded up. Dangerous hitter at the plate. Double play ball to second. Comes home with it for one. To first, safe there. So no double play, but they cut down the run at home. Bottom of the first, and now Jacob Davis. He's hitting for that pop. Came out of the gates really strong. Stay hot, baby. Here we go. The pitch. Ground ball, Casas. One gone, bottom go. half of the first. My goodness, Chris, he had to generate a ton of power in that jump throw for the out. Let's take another look and dive into the numbers from Stack. So the batting order turns over. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter, Todd Chandler. The pitch. Up the middle. Bichette picks it up. They take the force out. That's out number three. One left for the Red Sox, but they still lead it one nothing. Now batting go, Tristan baby. Casas. Grounded out his first time. Up next to the red side. Two on, two outs. To the right side. Fires over to Guerrero. And that is the third out of the inning. Boston strands a pair, but they hold a 1-0 lead. 
Come on now. So the One lineup time. flips right over to the batter now, Jacob Davis. The batter, the second baseman. And that one is lifted in the air. Story sizes this one up and puts the squeeze on that. And that's the inning. Down in order go the Blue Jays. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Back to the top of the lineup, Jacob Davis will hit next. Second baseman, Jacob. This to third. Zips it to first. That's out number two. No outs. Runner at first. And now it's Elias Diaz. On the ground to third. Might be two. To second. Pulls him off the bag. And he'll be safe at first. Todd Chandler, hey, the next nobody to up. hit for the fourth time tonight. Here we go, guys. Righty delivers. To short, could be two. Off balance feed, there's one. Throw to first, but he beat it. Drew hey, Waters stands up. in. One out. The possible tying and go-ahead runs on base. Line to second. Snagged on the bounce. They get one. The tag gets him, and it's a double play to end the inning. Seventh inning stretch time. Blue Jays two, and the Red Sox one. Jacob Davis next up for the Blue Jays. Smash to the left side. Zips it across. They limit the damage here. And welcome back. And here comes Sander Bogarts. There's a one now. Three two now. Ripped on the ground a second. Fires over to Guerrero. Bogarts retired. One gone runner at first. Here's the catcher, Elias Diaz. One for two. The tying run at the plate. And a sack bunt here. Guerrero goes to second. Safe there. Great pitcher's duel in this one. You get to a certain point where each pitcher is trying to outdo the other, go a little bit deeper into the ball game. And for these guys, it really came down to a few key at bats. This was a fun one to watch. A 3 2 final score in this one. Just a little bit away from first pitch. And starting in this one, Kevin Gossman. What do we have on him? Well, last time out, he's only able to complete four innings, but really battled. Didn't have his best stuff. I look for him to be better in this one. And foul ball. Righty to the plate. In the air to left center. Duran racing over to make the catch. On to the third inning. Now, Elias Diaz. Hey, play the first. Play the first. The catcher, Elias. The pitch. And he hits a ground ball right side. The throw to first. And one away in the top of the third. Now here is Jacob Davis. There's a line drive to left field. 
Can't get their base hit. Davis into second, and he's got a double. Nice double right there. Loud contact coming off the bat. Didn't get enough air under to drive it out of here, but you'll take that swing and that result every time. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. One left for Toronto. Still no score. This is Monte Harrison. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Ground ball right side. Fires over to Guerrero. Ends the inning after they racked up a bunch of runs. On now to the bottom of the fourth. The Red Sox four and the Jays nothing. Man at first with one gone. And the batter now, Xander Bogarts. Two for nine so far in the series. The pitch. On the ground, could be two. Off balance feed, there's one. And it's a double play to end the inning. Last half of the fifth coming up. The Red Sox four and the Jays nothing. And next for Toronto, Jacob Davis. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Throw back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. Well, that may end up being an at-bat we go back to later on when this game is over. Off the bat, that one registered at 105 miles per hour, man. That is smoking, and these days you hear it all the time, but the numbers just don't lie. You can drive a ball like that. More often than not, you're picking up a knock, and you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. Chopped to the ground. Throw home. Not in time. The run scores. It's 4-2. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. And a four-pitch walk. Gosh, another walk in this one. Man, he is having some real issues with control. Bobashek gets a chance to hit. Laboring here, about to throw his 30th pitch of the inning. That one to first, dive, and he's got it. Throws to second for one. To first, not in time. Great effort there. I promise you, they're guys that get a little bit faster when they can smell an RBI. That was a possible inning-ending double play. Great hustle, and he gets rewarded with the RBI because of it. Base is empty with two away. Hey, now batting one, Tristan Casas. Three for ten in the series so far. Tristan. Next pitch has popped up. Guerrero settles underneath it. Makes the catch. And that is that. Six, seven, eight, two in the bottom of the sixth. And we are tied 4-4. Four, four. So the batting order turns over. And here is Jacob Davis. The batter, number four. Yeah, the Second Jacob. Now time hey. called at the plate. <laughs> and that oh. one hammered. That's back there. Can't get there. And now maybe extra bases. Right past his coach headed for the plate. The tag, and that's out number three, inning over. Always exciting to see a play at the plate. Trying to score with two outs, but the tag just gets him in time. And they cut down the run to end the inning. Close one here today, and your final 5-4. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Shambi. Talk to you soon. Fans our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Blue Jays. Five runs on nine hits. No errors. They left six men on base.
for the Red Sox. Four runs, seven hits, one error. They left four men on base. Just about set to go. And on the hill, Nate Pearson. What do we have on him? Well, last time out, thought it was going to be pretty good, but wasn't able to make it out of the second inning. A real shocker. So he's fresh, and having had an opportunity to look at that last start, I expect him to be a lot better in this one. Davis picks it up. On to first. Two away. Bottom of the first. And now for the Jays, Jacob Davis. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Now fly ball to right center. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. Oh, the throw is wild. Kevin Biggio up to the plate. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. Sale ready. On the ground to first. And he takes it himself for the out. That is good. Runner at third with one gone. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. And there's ball four. Well, just came apart right there. Four pitch walk, and the guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Bull Bichette up to the dish. This guy has turned into a beast. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Base hit and a run in to score. Save! And the Jays score first. It's one zip. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Jacob Davis getting ready to hit with six hits in the series coming into this one. Lifted in the air right center field. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. In comes the run from third. And they lead by three. Now no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Kevin Biggio with a chance to hit. Grounded out his first time. Sale in a 1-2. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And how about Chris Sale locked in now? Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And a swing and a miss down on strikes. Good job of damage control right there. We play two full. It's the Blue Jays three, and the Red Sox nothing. Welcome back. New inning getting started. So stepping in for Boston, Gilberto Jimenez. Hey, strike him out. Clutch up right here. To the right side. Fires over to Guerrero. A great play deep in the hole. Back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup. Jacob Davis next up for the Blue Jays. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, but maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. Come on, Bob, that's a laser base hit. Duggar coming home. He'll score, and it's now a six-run lead. Safe at second with a double. 
third hit for him this afternoon. Well done. Drives in the run. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch he could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. And now the DH, Kevin Biggio. Four for 12 in the series so far. There we go. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That ends the inning. And stepping in is the speedy Jacob Davis. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. In the air out to center. Jimenez pulls that one down. Runner tags up for third. Not in time. He's safe. Standing in is the power hitting second baseman, Trevor Story, with just one hit in nine at bats so far in this series. On the ground, two ball. Bichette to second for one. Double play. They can't seem to break through. Inning over. To the bottom of the six we go. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Blue Jays six and the Red Sox nothing. So digging in, Jacob Davis. Now batting, the second baseman. Ground ball could be two. One at second. On the first, double play. And that's the inning. Nice sweep in this series, and you continue playing at home. Everything feels good right now. This is the type of run that you can put together a... Oh, it's his first home run in the big leagues, and any guy will tell you it's a moment they never forget. Ken Griffey Jr. hit 630 of them over his Hall of Fame career. No big deal. He joins us now. Ken, what's this moment like for him? It's unbelievable. You know, the fact that he, he finally got one. Uh, you know, this is a dream come true to actually hit a home run in a major league game. Uh, you know, for me, I don't even think my feet touched the ground. I think once I hit it and you know, if you look at my trot, I had a real ugly trot at that time, you know, because that's one of the things that you got to work on. You got to work on your trot. You can't have an ugly trot. And I had a real bad one. Um, <laughs> but, you know, you hit a few more and you start to get the groove. Um, but the first one is definitely, you know, a, a milestone. Um, and it's unbelievable. But uh, he needs to work on that trot. <laughs> you have to hit him far and look good doing it, right? <laughs> 